Riley has just um, he's just done some jail time, and it wasn't necessarily his fault. But there's a code in the area that forbids him from grassing, basically from ratting people out. So he's come out of jail and he's decided that he really doesn't want to be part of this criminal fraternity anymore. He has a kind of um, overdraft of baggage to clear before he can continue on what he sees as being his new life. And he doesn't necessarily know what that is just yet, but he wants out. Um, he loves women. He loves flirting with women. But he also feels very protective towards people that he loves and likes and towards his community. And that gets him into a bit of trouble. But also, in the end, helps him to clear that baggage that allows him to progress at least to a clean slate and allows him to at least achieve a starting point from which he can then go, I think, and then build the life that he wants for himself. And I think he kind of deserves it. He's a good guy at heart. He's done bad things, haven't we all? But he's a good guy at heart. He's got, um, it feels as if he's, it's the protection side of him that is endearing. He is a flirt. I suppose sometimes he could come across as being a sleaze, but you can see that he cares for people. It's not as the, the, the place and, and the prison and the situation and his upbringing has not brought him down. He's an optimist. <laughs>